What's up guys? I know it's been a while since I made another video. Uh, I think like two weeks now. But I finally got like literally everything off. Took off the subframe because I wanted to power wash and clean that up and then repaint it again. So that's off. And literally everything is out besides uh, just the brake lines and the fuel line and that's for a uh, vacuum hose so <clears throat> what I've done since the last video is take out the uh, steering column or well, not the steering column but where it attaches to and then I finally got the wire um, harness out and that's for the that's for the AC but I'm not gonna run that anymore I'm not putting back what I don't need. So here's the the subframe. And I just used the greaser. And then I use a uh like a just like a a brush to um take all the grease off. And then I took it to the car wash and power washed it. So that worked really good and then I just brought it back here and I just spray painted it black I just cleaned it up with some acetone to make sure I got all the grease off and everything and it turned out pretty good I didn't use primer or anything I just cleaned it and sprayed it black because it's something you're not really gonna see in the car other than See, it goes in that way, so you're only going to see the front half anyways. The back's going to be under the car, basically. And here's the wiring harness. Um, <clears throat> so with this, my plan is to um, take off all the old plastic loom. And I'm just going to buy some new black one. And put it on there. I was going to try and clean this one up, but no, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna replace all this plastic uh, cover with new one. It's all greasy and gross, and I don't want to spend the time to clean that up when I can just buy a new one. So that's that. And then let me grab my light here. Uh, got my seat out. There's my wheels. Show you the inside of the car give you a little rundown of what I did so obviously that's out there's the center console right there so that's where the uh, steering column went through and then back there is where the pulled the sh um, shifter linkage out through. Well, I didn't pull it out, I actually pulled it in. It was a lot easier that way. And that just connected to, let me try and set up this light. There you go, so I'm not holding it. So that just went through here, down here, and then through this bracket right here. And then there's another bracket right here, and there's these little, uh, where they are. Oh, I, oh, I bagged them up already, but there's these little clips that you have to pop up. And then you just kind of like push and then lift up so it comes out of this bracket, these brackets. And, and on here, all it had was it just went through here and then there's a little cotter pin right there and same thing with right here so all you do is take the cotter pin out and then it just pops off and then the wiring harness I pulled that from from right there so I don't know if you can see that so I pulled it from right there and that went to, it went to here. It had a couple ground wires uh, right there. 
and then it went into here and where that went let's see and that wiring harness went to these clips right there 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 so basically all these four connectors right here it was either three or four of them i can't remember but yeah those were a pain in the ass to get off especially when you have no room for your hand to get in there i had to like stick one hand through to the top up here and have my other hand down there and try to push in the little button and and it's gonna have these little clips Oops. these clips at the bottom I think you have to take those out it's kind of like one of those uh, clips that if you don't take out the plastic piece it won't come off because it's like a lock basically so take those out I don't think I'm even gonna put those back in it's not like they're gonna come unplug while I'm driving but you never know So that's that. Oh, and this, if you're wondering, is for my battery. It's I just have this wire ran all the way through to the trunk for my battery. And then this hose, or this vacuum hose is just for my FMU that's ran under the car. So you guys won't have that. And, uh... Yeah, so that's what I got here. Oh, and uh, actually, it's right here. That's what was right there. Uh, that's for the steering uh, grease. And there's just going to be a bolt here. And the same thing, uh, bolt right there. And you just take those out and there's like no resistance at all. You just take them out and the thing just starts sliding in and out. So that's really not that hard to take off. What I would do is just mark. We'll have the steering wheel completely straight. Have the steering wheel completely straight. And then before you take it off, use like a a marker or a pen or something and make a line so that way you remember how it went you know because you want to keep everything as it came off and that is just left in there because from here to there it's just gonna be along the fender so it doesn't matter if I get paint on that or not. So my goal today is at least at least get this primered. It's my main goal today. Cause I've been at this way too long and I just wanna at least get it primered and then the color I'm going to go with we'll see I have to I want to practice on something else to see what's going to come out as you know with the primer the base coat and then the clear coat to see how it's going to turn out and if I don't like the color then I think I'm just going to go with white back to white make it all nice and clean again and black's okay but really there's nothing it's really nothing uh, black's just too plain for me you know I want like something you can see detail and stuff so I don't know if that makes sense or not so what I'm gonna do as you can see I already started masking this up mess along there there and then along the, the fender, so that way overspray doesn't get inside. 
And what I did was just put that cover that goes here with the windshield wipers. Put that here, and it only went to about right here. So, so I'm keeping this all open because I want even the back half to be the same color. So I set the mask this up, and I can come back down here. Uh, mask these brake lines because I don't want them to get painted. But the overspray is gonna kind of uh, come down through there. Uh, so yeah, um, let me just finish uh, covering my car up and masking it. And well, as you can tell, it's a lot brighter because I got I'm set for lights. I got lights there. Light, light, light. I even bought this light. It's like a thousand looms or watts, looms, I think it was looms, with the stand. So now when I'm making videos about the car or even inside, you guys can actually see with the light now. So, so my plan is get the bay painted at least primered or painted completely and then my second goal is going to be clean up the harness buy all new wire looms replace that um, this is good I think the next day it's sunny outside I'm gonna give it another uh, coat of black and then uh, clear coat it and I still have to clean these off these bolts and stuff so but that goes under the car so that doesn't matter and then the motor is what's going to be last because I want to take off the tranny and then degrease it, clean it up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to paint it like a like black or silver or a charcoal. So, anyways, that uh, and then replace the valve cover gasket because there's like a leak on the back. Oh, and then I got. All this other stuff, all these other uh, lines and power steering hoses and everything. So I want to clean all that up too, and then I'm gonna spray paint it with black also, like I did the subframe. And I just use this stuff, Rust-Oleum uh, high gloss. That's the only thing I use, Rust-Oleum. Don't go. I mean, you can buy this at Walmart too, but when you're there, do not buy this cheap stuff. I used to use this like when I first started painting crap. This is only a dollar, dollar can spray paint, which I'm never going to use again, so I don't even know why I have it. But yeah, don't get that stuff. You know, you want quality stuff. You know, for Stolian, this is like three, four bucks a can. And then, uh, your gloss clear. So, uh, yeah, let me just mask this up and, uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got everything masked up. Finish that around. Then along the side there. Then I also have um, had an extra one of these covers, so I just along the side so I don't get any overspray on the subframe, my seat, my wheels. Um, I'll put another one on there. And, uh, yeah, I guess might as well start spraying. Okay. And what I'm going to be using, uh, this primer. And it's actually not that cold in here anymore. I think it's like almost 50 in here. It's pretty warm. But this has been sitting up there since like last night. So a good idea to do is um, I left it in the sink filled with hot water up to like halfway or as high as you can go without getting it into the nozzle. And that makes it so it comes out nice and smooth. You know, spray smooth. That way it doesn't like because if it's cold and you try to spray, it'll just like, like spit. 
No, that's not good. Just put in some hot water for like 10 minutes or while you're busy doing whatever. And another thing, oh, it's under there. Use a respirator. Because you don't want to be breathing in this stuff. I mean, I've painted without it, but now I kind of want to get smart and actually use a respirator. So uh, let me set you guys up and I'll start spraying the nice light coat. <laughs>
I can get so far. I have to go to the store and get another can. I had to clean the tip first. I think it was clogged. But now it's spraying nice and good. Nice and smooth.
do another can. Well, as you can see, I should have started light and then let it dry a bit and then go again, but I just went for it. I'll probably be drying for at least another hour before I spray another coat. But so far, it turned out pretty good. Can't really tell on camera, but it turned out pretty smooth. Still need some more. Obviously, you can still see a little bit through. But, uh, yeah. So, like I said, you want to um, set the can in warm water. So that way it spits fine. Or sprays fine, because mine was spitting a little bit. But... As I first, when I first started, it was spitting just a tiny bit, but then since the can's been sent for a while, and after you spray, you know, you want to clean the inside of the nozzle. Um, I just used acetone. I should have used like paint thinner or something, but that's okay. I'm still gonna put another, another maybe two coats, so that way I get full coverage. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to let this dry for uh, at least an hour, another hour. And I'm going to go get something to eat. Well, actually, I have to go to the store anyway, so I have to get another can as I ran out. So, yeah. See you guys in a bit. Alrighty. So I just, hang on. Sorry, had my respirator on. Oof, now I have it off. All right, so I just, just used my second can. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back and do another coat. I might use another can too. I want to get full, full, 100% coverage of everything. So far it looks really good. Look how smooth that is. bad for a spray can. Fire wall. So yeah. Just give me a little update. Hopefully you guys will like that I actually did something now. Instead of just slacking. So yeah, after I do another a uh, can or two. Um, I don't know. We'll see what color I choose. I'll have to practice on something else to see how it's going to turn out after the clear coat and everything, and to make sure that that it's not going to have a uh, chemical reaction. Because I've had that happen where I use different cans on something and it has a chemical reaction, then it starts wrinkling and coming off and looks like paint uh, paint stripper. So. Yeah, I want to risk that.
But I don't want to risk that. Alrighty, and sorry for the long videos, guys. I don't, can't get into my laptop, so I can't edit videos. But, yeah. Peace.